Hi everybody, and welcome back to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. If you were unable to concede and your options were either adoption or surrogacy, would you ask somebody to be a surrogate even though you know that that would mean they put their life in danger? This one's from user throwarrayaffectionate1. My sister thinks I'm being selfish because I'm not putting my own health at risk to give her a baby. So just over four months ago, I gave birth to my fourth and last child. It was a high risk pregnancy and the birth was very difficult. I won't go into detail as it is still hard for me to think about. Me and the baby are both fine now. My doctors advised me that it would be best to not have any more kids and I agreed. My husband just recently had a vasectomy and is now recovering. My sister and her boyfriend have tried planning for a family for a while, but recently found out she can't conceive. She has been very upset about this and I do feel sorry for her. Our family mentioned adoption or surrogacy for them and even though my sister's boyfriend was on board, my sister said she needed time to think. Well, a couple nights ago my sister called me to tell me her and her boyfriend had agreed on surrogacy and we talked for a bit. After a while, she brought up the fact how I had done so well in my pregnancies and how I must have loved being pregnant. I knew exactly where this was going and reminded her how my last pregnancy was. And yet, she told me everything was fine now, so what was my issue? I told her that even though I'm around now, I won't put myself through that again and just because I am fine now, doesn't mean everything will be fine the next time. She then straight up asked me if I will be her surrogate or not. I straight up told her no. She then started screaming into the phone about how selfish I am and how I need to look out for my sister and help her when she needed it. I then told her I would help her with anything else, but I was not putting my own health at risk and potentially leave my kids without a mom and my husband a widower. My sister went on to continually scream about how selfish I was being and how much of a bee I was being. I hung up on her, I didn't think about it and went to bed. The next morning, my phone was blown up with Facebook messages and calls from friends and family. My sister had gone on Facebook after I hung up on her and she went and whined on Facebook about me. She went on about how I wouldn't let her become a mom and how I had four kids while not being a nice sister and give her a baby. I was apparently being selfish. My mom and a small handful of people are extremely angry at me and calling me all sorts of names for being selfish, while my dad, brothers and several other people are taking my side. Everyone on my sister's side don't want to hear my side of the story. They think I'm doing this for my own selfish intentions and not my health. My mom and dad have been fighting back and forth now because my dad won't take my sister's side. And this is exactly like when we were kids. My mom would always take her baby's side. And I'm extremely pissed off that this has caused problems to the point my sister gets family involved. I should not have to put my own health at risk for her. I don't think I'm being selfish at all, but I'm not sure how to fix this. Well OP, you are absolutely right. You should not have to put your own health at risk for your sister, who to be honest, she sounds like the selfish one because she's willing to ask this of you. And regarding what you want to do, which is to try to fix this, I kind of think you can't because there's no arguing with stupid. No amount of logic or reasoning is ever going to make sense to a stupid person like your sister and your mom. One of your options is just to cut the idiots out of your life. Now of course this must be incredibly difficult if one of those idiots is a parent of yours. But then you really need to think about if it contributes to your life or not. But of course that's just my opinion. So how about we move on to the community comments to see what kind of advice or other opinions OP got. Lose Lips Cause Wars says, You can't because you're not in the wrong here. There's absolutely nothing selfish about not putting your life at risk. And you have children and a husband that need you around as well. Interstellar03 says, I don't have any advice for you OP, but I think you should tell them exactly what the doctor told you. Stand your ground and don't let them, especially your mom, get to your head. They are selfish for not taking your health into consideration 
even putting you at risk. You could die for Pete's sake. That's a big no-no. Poor Joie says, I'm the infertile sister in my family, and I'm sorry to say she may never get over this. But no is a complete and perfectly fine answer. You don't have to fix this. You aren't a brood mare, and while your sister's trauma around infertility is certainly understandable, it is in no way your cross to bear, and her reaction is so far over the line, it circles the globe. She needs counseling, and your mom needs to back off. My best advice would be to focus on your own health and little family. And if you aren't reliant on your mom and extended family for help, some breathing room sounds like a good idea. IT Sabipul says, I mean, if she takes to Facebook to publicly rant about such a private issue, that would suggest to me that she's not emotionally mature enough to bring a life into this world. Your body, your choice. Pregnancy is a dangerous thing to put your body through, and if you and your doctor don't want to risk that, then nobody has any right to make you feel guilty about it. Well, that's pretty much in line with what I said, like, you don't need to fix anything here because you didn't break anything. It was that moron that you call a sister that made it public, with the backing of your idiotic mother. Anyways, I've already said mostly everything I have to say. So how about we move on to the update to see how OP dealt with this thing. So I did what a few people suggested and wrote a post on Facebook about my situation. I used a few of people's words from here. I hope people don't mind. Quite a few people who were on my sister's side told me that when they read her post, they messaged her and she told them about our conversation but didn't bring up my problems with my last pregnancy. And they are all disgusted with her for keeping such information like this out of her post. A few family members who I thought knew about my situation didn't actually know and called to apologize. A few people still think I'm not doing the right thing though. Several people tagged my sister in my post to tell her off, but she has blocked everyone and called to scream at me for writing about personal information. I ended up hanging up on her. Her boyfriend, who doesn't go on Facebook that much, was looking through posts yesterday to find all this drama. He called me and explained he had no idea my sister even asked me and even brought up finding a surrogacy with her, but she always complained it was too much. And also brought up adoption a lot, she always said, maybe. He also told me that this was something he would have talked her out of if she brought it up to him. Needless to say, he was very much against this idea. My mom never commented on my post or said anything, so I called her to get together for lunch and she actually agreed. But by the time I arrived, she started telling me off for going on Facebook to complain. Apparently, I should talk privately and this was a family matter. And then asked her how my body was a family matter. And all she said was, I made you, so it's a family matter. I then went on to tell her how it wasn't and what would happen to my kids if something happened to me. And all she said was, they will live. I could not believe the stubbornness of this woman. I then went on to tell her that whether they lived or not, it was still going to break them. My oldest child would go back to her dad, and the younger three would stay with my husband. Separating them would break them even more. She still said they would live, and then went on to tell me that I need to do the right thing for my family, because giving birth to four kids isn't that bad, so a fifth wouldn't be a big deal. And I needed to grow up and act like an adult. At this point, I pretty much just got up and left. I literally cried all the way home from how angry and upset I was with this woman. Not long after that, my dad showed up at my doorstep and asked if he could stay for a while. Apparently, he asked my mom how our lunch went and my mom told him I was still refusing to do a simple task for my sister. And when my dad pressed her for information, she wouldn't give him anything else. So he told her off for not thinking of all her kids instead of her golden child. Because things could end worse this time. And my mother told him that it's my fault then for not looking after myself. So my dad left her. We sat down and I told him what actually happened. He wasn't happy at all. 
My dad even kept both my brothers informed too. And they've tried talking some sense into our mom, but she still isn't budging. In all honesty, this has depressed me. I feel my mom is grandchildren hungry, if that's a thing, and isn't really thinking of the negatives here. She's ruining relationships with three of her children and husband to make her baby happy. In all honesty, there have always been situations between any of us siblings where my sister gets away with everything. My mom never told her no, so she is definitely a spoiled child. There would have been some point when me or my brothers wouldn't be speaking to our mom or sister. So it's now come to that time where everyone is starting to cut them off. My dad has been living with me since he left my mom and the kids and my husband love having him around. I know he will eventually try talking to my mom again, but whether they get back together or not just depends. In all honesty, it seems like my mom doesn't care. And if they do divorce, I'll probably be to blame. Haha, <laughs> can already see it happening. Oh, OP, I'm so sorry you're going through this, especially because none of this is your doing. It's all your idiotic sister just being spoiled and your mother. Wow, she surprised me. I know I've read stories where there are people that I call idiots and morons and so on. But your mom is definitely, definitely in the top five of all the morons that I've ever read stories about. I mean, seriously, I got very, very angry at your mom when she told you that your kids would still live even if you weren't here. When I read about the lunch you had with your mom and what she said to you, I was honestly hoping that you would have written something like, and then somebody jumped out of the shadows and punched her in the face for being a C. Because in my opinion, that's what she deserves. And finally, I do not think she is grandchild crazy, because she has four from you. But she wants one more even if it puts your life at risk? What the hell kind of mother is that? I hope your dad never goes back to that woman. She is soulless. And I'm done. That was my rant. Okay, what do you guys think about OP's situation? And what would you have said to that mom? Let me know in the comment section. And so we've reached the end of the video. I truly hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and click like. Of course, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Also, here are more videos from my channel that you might enjoy. And having said all that, I will see you guys on the next video.